All right, well, another record close for the Dow. It itches now within 40 points, 22,000. We almost had it today. We are at 11 points, by the way, almost to that uh, record 22,000 number. We had a huge earnings report, though, after the bell from Apple. They beat on earnings per share revenue uh, up over 6% and after, uh, excuse me, the stock is up over 6% and after hours trading. The revenue is up more than 7%. I, I, all the good numbers, I can't keep track. I want to bring in Ken Mahoney, president of Mahoney Asset Management, the author of a GPS for your retirement. If I owned Apple, I might be retiring. I know. How do you like those apples? Wow. I mean, I mean really, it's a wow. Because everyone's expecting next quarter with the new iPhone coming out. And this quarter kind of snuck up. I mean, they did they hit the trifecta, right? They okay. they uh, beat the estimates, you know, for, for this quarter, for next quarter. They did, you know, raise guidance, better than that. It all, it all kind of worked for them. And it, it, it's a big Dow component. It's going to help them pierce our 22,000. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, 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 it's looking like if that stock continues to perform overnight into tomorrow. Yeah, I think we have futures up right now. Apple up nine points, which is about 70 Dow points. And, you know, yeah. the, everything is equity weighted. So, as, you know, the SP is weighted with Apple. NASDAQ's weighted with Apple. The Dow's weighted with Apple. Mm -hmm. We share a pretty good day now. I believe we're going to pierce through 22,000. Again, notwithstanding the other 29 components of the, of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, but Apple should lead the way tomorrow for sure. Yeah, well, it's interesting because, you know, with Apple, you know, the, the concern, this is normally a weak quarter for them. Yeah. And usually it's because those that have iPhones are waiting to see for the new fall iPhone, yeah. which we think is the 8. I mean, they sold All we have right now is the 7 and the 7 quarter. Plus. It's crazy. 41 million they sold this well, quarter. Well, why, why are they not, why did they not hold back? Why did the consumer not hold back? I don't know, on they, the they don't know when it's going to happen. You know, uh, for me, even personally, uh, my, my phone would start at 80 and after the next phone call, down to 20% battery life. At some right. point, you just can't wait for the upgrade cycle because it's been so long between upgrade cycles. But they kicked it with Mac. They, they did a whole bunch of other things. Start tearing apart other things else they're doing. They, they also have a lot of recurring revenue from their iPhone business and iTunes business. They've really hit it on all, all cylinders. Mac sales up 6.7%, nearly, yeah. about, well, about 5.6 billion. Back to school, billion. back to college. Is that yeah. what it is? Yeah, they get a lot of that in July and August. Uh, again, this is a June period, of course, for them. But it's really interesting the way Apple really continues to execute on, on, on all cylinders, really. Yeah, I think, the, I think the, the thinking going into this report was that the smartphone, and, you know, the, the use of smartphones sure. in general was going to hurt whether it was your iPad sales or your Mac sales. And so you've got a lot of surprise jaw-dropping, you know, it happening really after surprised. the bell. We have nine points, and who knows? We saw where Facebook uh, last week had one of those gap-and-goes where it started higher and then kind of, you know, jump on, the, jump on the pile, so to speak. So mm -hmm. while we may start Apple up nine points tomorrow, I wouldn't be surprised Trade traders jump on that and even push up even further. Pull up the stock one more time, guys. I want to look at this puppy just just because it puts me in a good mood and all right here it is it's 159.07 where do you think apple's going to go in the next i don't know i'll give you a month what do you say uh, another month you know look it's up it's up it's up nine points already uh i don't know maybe tack on another five six seven points you know but yeah. you know what's really interesting you were saying before this is a, today was the 31st time that the dow set a record this this year yeah. tomorrow maybe the 32nd mm -hmm. and everybody's calling for this correction these these serial top callers all the time and then earnings after earnings i mean boeing caterpillar now apple netflix we had a couple weeks ago. I mean, you look at this earnings season, it's really what's holding up stock. I, I was in the, at the New York Stock Exchange earlier. They're, they're, all those guys were saying, you know what, I, we don't care about Washington. It's not earnings. The numbers I mean, it's are good. Yeah. It's, almost, yeah, it's almost like yeah. uh, you know, any news that comes out, Donald Jr., whoever, yeah. they're looking back at earnings. Thank you.